What is up, YouTube? We are back with another video, and don't forget, right now is a Black Friday drop. We got some new swag going on right now, which you can see I'm wearing one of them. Got a new jacket, new hoodie, which is this guy right here, camo. Another new shirt and hoodie design. You can go on there, a whole bunch of more hats. We're gonna give you four entries per item you purchase. Right now, till Monday night at midnight, you're gonna get four entries. But the, for the guys that actually did put an order in the past couple weeks, don't worry, I'm gonna get you hooked up with actually triple entries. So you're gonna get an extra ticket in those for all the orders that are going out today. So don't forget, go to fbombbaggers.com, go to the store and get your purchase in. And that way you get entered for the 21 Fat Tire giveaway. All right, peace. All right, what up, fellas? Before this video drops, unfortunately, I had a I had an SD card with almost 200 plus gigabytes of footage on there that when it was in my laptop, the laptop fell over and it destroyed the card. So I lost everything. One being the crating of this video, which is the Indian, which I'm inserting right here. You can see the Indian that we built how many years ago. Our guy Fahad from Qatar bought it and it got crated up and shipped over. So enjoy the video. Huh? You gotta get the long place. Yeah. Right? It all for YouTube, man. Yeah, it might, and I hate to say it, but I don't know if it's gonna work. We might just have to put it in for them. Yeah. Nice. I think we tried that last time, remember? And like, that broke through. I where we race at, it's like 10 minutes from there. It says Rockdale, I don't know why it says that. driver uh, I've got to go on we I, if I would have had my truck with me I would have just hooked up right now but my trucks at my house I got my little car so I'm gonna have to go all the way to my house and grab the grab the truck and then come back with the truck so if he wants to come back in like an hour or two that's fine but he's not gonna do anything and I'm literally just gonna because that was the whole deal in the first place we were just supposed to put in the enclosed and, and drop it off because I have an enclosed trailer so Correct, yeah. Correct, yeah. 
the the thing is, it's just like there's there's no reason for me to come back over here because they're gonna put it somewhere in another trailer and take it wherever it needs to go. So why would I come back over here? Man? The paperwork's here. Yeah. I took a picture of it. But I yeah, I need picture. I need one. I guess if anything. I'll give them a copy as well too. Just tell him to call. It. Yeah. Yes. No, yeah, there, there's... I have an enclosed trailer. That. that was the whole point of putting the crate. We've got casters on it and everything, because originally we shipped the bike to Germany. We had to put casters on it and drop it off at O'Hare. So that's why this has casters on it. But this SD Express is only like five minutes from us, so I'll just put it in the trailer, like I said, after I go get my truck. And then just if you want to call them and let them know ahead of time that... There's going to be a, car, a truck and a tra you know a regular truck with a, a you know a motorcycle yeah. trailer. They could around. do that on their side, right? Yeah. Okay. Can I take okay. those or no? Yeah, you can take them. Yeah. All right, bus. I think, I think we have all, right. it all covered. I'll give you a buzz. Hey, I'll give you a buzz when we when we head over there. So give me a couple give me a couple hours. I got your number, man. No worries. Yeah, I mean, you guys still charge me. All right, so we got to load it up. We're en route to uh, whatever the name of the joint is. I already forgot. It's on that paperwork right there. I already stopped twice. I don't know if I can get the camera to focus on the screen itself. There you go. You can see the box in there. Um, we just threw two straps. So what happened is, you know, the other... They had a shipper come. Fahad booked a shipper. So, long story short, originally I had suggested that we could air freight it because when we air freighted that motorcycle to Germany, the, the road glide, if we have another one getting air freighted, or I don't know at this point what it's going to be, if it's air freighted or, or ground, uh, it was like the gentleman, he told me it was, man, I think like three grand or 30 something, 100 bucks. So I said, hey, we could just air freight this one, it'll be cheaper. You know, and you get it quicker. Well, the air freight company that I dealt with before, a couple years back, I put Fahad in touch with them, and they came back with like a $12,000 quote to air freight because of, you know, uh, and, and, and when we shipped that one to Germany it was before COVID, so go figure, COVID just drove everything up and, you know, multiplied it, you know, tenfold, basically. So he arranged a company out of New Jersey to get it picked up and, I didn't realize it was getting picked up today. It's been sitting in the crate. The guy came, we got it out. Doesn't have a doesn't have a lift gate on the box truck, so I had to call the shipper, tell him that hey, you can't take it in this thing because there's no way to load it. The forks aren't long enough. But this, this joint's only like five minutes away, ten minutes away. I'm like, dude, we'll just put it in the enclosed. We'll bring it over there. We'll drop it off. No big deal. So we got it strapped up, got it loaded, got it strapped up. Um, and actually Tyler, I'm sorry, Austin, our guy Austin that made me a whole bunch of lifts, wooden lifts, made this little insert piece that when you pull down the gate, you got that gap in between the where the gate gate is, you know, your, your lift, your gate or your trailer, and then you got the little gap, and then you got the bottom of your trailer, so the wheels always get stuck there. So he made this nice little insert piece. So now it's just a flat, smooth ride up. So that went right in, it was, a little, it was a little heavy, but we got it. The casters didn't break this time, so being last time when Joe had did the crate, we realized some issues, so this time we knew what to do to strengthen it. Cranking it down, it pushed the front wheel almost through on the other crank, so on the other crate. So this one we had to, you know, make sure it was supported. He basically built it like a, like a basement frame, I think like every 12 inches or something, it's framed by two by fours. But he got that all good, got it all crated up, and then uh, we stuck it back here. It didn't have any issues with the casters or anything, so I'm um, literally five minutes, ten minutes out of the shop. We already stopped twice because it moved around and shifted, so I put another ratchet on there. I thought I could get away with only a couple ratchets, but I guess not, but um, she's good. She's on the camera. I'm watching it. You know, we're ten minutes away, five minutes away. Get it dropped off and uh, see how that goes. So I'll keep you posted. And we pull it in. I think, I don't even know if there's a customer entrance, a fucking public entrance, a gate, security.
Let's go, man. Oh, you're good. Oh, I don't even know where to go. Oh, what are you, what are you pick it up? No, we got a motorcycle to the crate we're dropping off. They went to come pick it up that it didn't fit in their truck. All right, man, so you make a right out of here and you just go back to the other side. Okay. See how the way it looks up here in front, it's the door on the back side. And we'll go inside? There. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. He's with me. Probably not gonna carry the camera in inside, but just do a whip around the corner. Everyone looking at us like, what the fuck? Over there, smoking her vape. This building is brand new. It's only been here for about two years, I think. Old shop was literally the first one was ever right over there by Nick with straight lines. Midwest expedited. Truck over here. Selling it to somebody? Uh, yeah, he's from Qatar. It's one. Of, we'll probably drop another one off when that other one's finished. So. Okay.
cool. I appreciate it. All right, so that was uh, quite an interesting load via the ramp right there. That's why I recorded it, just for the fact that in case something happened, we definitely could not be blamed for it. So it went up smoothly, and hopefully she should be good all the way, all the way over to Qatar. Qatar, Qatar, I don't know the exact pronunciation of it, but it's Dubai basically, like five hours from Dubai. Hopefully she makes it there good. We learned we learned last time when we did the bike from Germany about how to, like I said, how to strap it and get it all good. And um, this time we did some tweaks on it and for the most part it wasn't going anywhere. We shook the shit out of it. Well, so I guess we stay tuned, we wait because now it's going onto a boat. Big freight, freight boat, whatever they want to call them, cargo ship. And uh, I guess it takes three to four weeks or something, they'll be on it. They'll get it over there, go through customs, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure the battery will be long dead. And I'll have to put it on the charger. Anyway, stay tuned for the update on that one. Well, just the average uh, average vlog of dropping a bike off in a crate. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? So, all right, peace.